Good, Good morning, morning Glendora. Glendora. I'm Eric Valenzuela. And I'm Jaden Young. And, and these, these are, are your morning, morning announcements. What about a hit of your love? Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Hey Jane, what are you doing? Oh, just voting for homecoming king and queen. Did you get the remind text to vote? Oh, so that's what that was. Yeah, all students should have gotten a text with a link and that's how you vote for king and queen. Oh, so uh, when's the cutoff? Tomorrow. So, so vote, vote now! Homecoming tickets go on sale this week for $20 with an ASB card and $30 without. On October 1st, the price increases to $25 with an ASB card and $35 without. On October 2nd, the price goes up again to $30 with an ASB card and $40 without. And finally, on October 3rd, the price increases to $35 with an ASB card and $45 without. Are you going to homecoming? Bringing a date from another school? Don't forget to get a guest pass from the 200 office. They are due on Friday. Homecoming guest passes take 24 hours to clear. If you're taking a non-GHS guest, both tickets must be purchased at school. Tickets will be sold until October 3rd. If you're taking a bus to homecoming, you need to turn in a bus list to the 200 office. They are due on Friday. Today is the college fair in the event center. Here are the times. For girls soccer, there will be a meeting on September 26th in the gym during lunch for any returning or new players that are interested in playing in this next season. This week's game of the week is girls golf. golf. Girls varsity field hockey beats Ote Ranch 6 to 0. Boys varsity water polo beats Ayala 9 to 7. Girls varsity golf beats Lutheran High School of Orange County 217 to 251. This week's female athlete of the week is Ellie Morrison. In the Universal City Tournament, Ellie made four goals and three assists and was named MVP of the semifinal game. She was given this honor by the opponent. This week's Male Athlete of the Week is Carson Alonzo. Carson had 16 goals, 10 assists, 3 steals, and 2 game winners with one game winning buzzer beater. Great job, Carson. Here's, Here's a, a word, word from, from ASB. ASB. To show appreciation for staff members around campus, we will be rewarding two staff members who have stood out to us this month. This month, staff Scotties went to Juan Carlos and Mrs. Hubie. Mrs. Hubie talked about suicide awareness and made students feel safe in her class. Juan Carlos has been a huge help with setting up assemblies and many back to school events. Congratulations to Juan Carlos and Mrs. Hubie. And be thinking of staff members who have gone the extra mile for you and nominate them for staff Scotty in the ASB room, room 215. Hi guys, I'm Daniel Reese. I'm new this year. I'm a junior. I came from Mississippi High School, and as you can see, I found Scotty. Um, so during the week, they were giving clues, and I just found out about where Scotty. And so I was listening to Wednesday, Wednesday's clues about it said, "Don't fidget after this digit. Look, open the door, but it has nothing to do with your test score." So I resembled the digits to a locker number, and then I resembled the test score to your locker number on your locker door. And so then I was, we looked for the clues, we found four, zero, nine, and three. And so I was like, that has to be a locker number. And so I went to the freshman quad and I looked at locker four, zero, nine, three. I opened the door. My whole face expression was, and then so I know my mom told me, cause I, I told her I was trying to find it. And she said, okay, when you find it, don't let anybody know. I hid Scotty under my shirt. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the entire way running to the junior quad. And I went to my friends, Alex, and you know, other people. And I was like, guys, look. And I took the dog out and they all screamed. They're like, ah, I'm like, shh, 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 shh. I didn't want everybody to know. And then I, immediately I turned around, I was like, I found Scotty. And so then I came into the ASB room and I was like, I found him and then they all clapped. And so I'm gonna be looking forward to that $50 student store credit. Today we are having our first ever Tartan Snack Attack. I have randomly pulled a student's name, 
Isabella Ramirez. So we are going to go to her classroom, Mr. Waters' class, and we are going to announce her as the special tartan. And then everybody is going to get one of these yummy ice creams that we have in our cart today. So it's the first ever tartan snack attack. So hopefully your name gets pulled at some time too. Snack attack. <laughs> way to Mr. Waters classroom to do our snack attack. It is going to be spectacular. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Mr. Diaz, you come with us for our yeah. snack attack? Give him a hat. Oh, <laughs> <Here. laughs> no. Oh, no. Coming through, guys. Everybody doing good? Everybody. Hello, everybody. Oh. Snack attack! Party snack attack! Are you guys excited? So. For our tartan snack attack, I have randomly pulled a student's name. And you guys are so lucky that this person is in your classroom. That person's name is, where are you, Isabella Ramirez. Where are you? Because I pulled Isabella's name, you guys won the snack attack for today. Okay, so we only have we only have two choices though. We only have lime and pineapple. And now, here's Eric with Choir. I'm Eric Valenzuela, and this week I joined Choir for a day to see what it was like. This is the result. My favorite part about show choir was probably the singing and dancing aspect of that, and watching them do all the work, because I was tired. My experience with show choir was enjoyable. I didn't enjoy doing the workouts, of course, but I did enjoy watching them perform. What was your least favorite part about show choir? Um, definitely doing squats. I don't like doing squats, and they do a lot and a lot of squats. Although show choir isn't for everyone, and by that stance, it's not for me. Definitely not. It's too much exercise. I do think that it's a great community, and if you enjoy singing, dancing, and especially squats, then you should definitely join show choir. Um, I did enjoy my time with them, though, and any upcoming performances are definitely ones to look out for. And now here's a recap from the Powder Puff game. We all here. Flex with the hat. Grip on the film. You know how you feel. <laughs> Just crack a cold one for the boys, do it for state, Boy Scouts, cheer.
And now here's Tartan Leadership with their brand new app. I'm Eric Valenzuela. And I'm Jaden Young. And, and these, these have, have been, been your morning, morning announcements. announcements.